From the perspective of those living in Germany, in this manic phase of election-related sexist right-wing fake news and near-daily scandals in the police, secret services, and military that proved just how very much denazification never took place, a practice of or the chance at radical solidarity can seem awfully far away, as it seems the bar is lowered daily of, say, what it takes for those in power to face consequences for corrupt and life-endangering actions. Looking at you, Health Minister Jens Spahn. I forget who tweeted recently that it's a good time to not speak German. However, in Berlin right now, running parallel to the campaigns for both the federal and state elections, a campaign of another sort is taking place. The referendum DV und Co. and Eignen. This referendum, organized by means of direct democracy, seeks to expropriate all the corporate landlords that own more than 3,000 flats and communalize them. In many cases, it would be recommunalizing them, since the Berlin Bank scandal of 2001 involved huge bailouts funded by the public purse, which put Berlin into massive debt and led to the city-state selling so much of its publicly owned housing at dirt-cheap prices. The Conservative Party responsible for this bank scandal was the CDU, which is currently receiving many large donations from real estate speculators as it bitterly fights against the expropriation referendum, just as it did against the very necessary and popular rent cap. Unlike the now overturned rent cap, the expropriation initiative is firmly grounded on Article 15 of the German Constitution and accredited with, both, with the prospects of being legally feasible by the research services of the Bundestag and Berlin's parliament. Franziska Giffey, the mayoral candidate of the centrist party SPD, who recently resigned as family minister of Germany after her doctoral degree was revoked over 69 counts of plagiarism in her thesis, and yet still think that's compatible, thinks that's compatible with running for mayor, has also squarely placed her solidarity with the landlords rather than the renters in the city where over 80% of the population pays rent for their housing rather than paying nothing or a mortgage. As the pressure of financialized real estate has exploded, causing existential fear even among the bourgeoisie, with working class families in Berlin spending half their income on their rent, with rents doubling over 10 years in some of the hippest neighborhoods, which coincidentally are also some of the poorest neighborhoods, with this doom loop of speculation and extraction embodying rentier capitalism at its worst, extracting profits with no contribution to society, let us now turn to the innate beauty of the German language <laughs> with the word Vergesellschaftungsreif ripe for communalization, like juicy fruit. The referendum still needs a couple of ten thousands of signatures by June 25th in order to come to fruition, in which case it will most likely be voted on at the same time as the elections in September. Almost a quarter of Berliners don't have the German passport required to vote, so those facing the worst discrimination in seeking housing are disenfranchised from this chance to do something about it. Make radical solidarity happen by taking back the city and turning it into a place that has room for everyone, not just tech bros and sisses, heirs, heiresses, and other gentry. Help get out the vote.